Today I want to talk to you about the myth of the first draft. It's a common misconception among new authors that the first draft is, well, the first draft and ready to go to the editor. It's not. Now, I know this is counterintuitive, but to expect that first iteration to be a polished first draft that looks really anything at all like what will be the final product can lead to disappointment and frustration. And I've noticed with my own book coaching clients that their expectations in this regard are seriously misguided. In these episodes, I've been laying out a system for you to get your words down as the first iteration of the manuscript. However, as you're gaily typing away and filling in your fat outline and writing up your chapters, you will forget about things. You will miss out things that you want to be in the final book. You'll also, if you're writing on your area of expertise, which I'm assuming you are, you will also make assumptions on the part of your reader that are invalid. After all, you're the expert, they're not. That's why they're reading the book. In working with my coaching clients when we're going review the, reviewing their chapters, one of the most common questions or comments that I have to say to them is, what does this actually mean? I don't understand this. Your reader is going to need more detail in order to understand your point. And if I don't understand it, possibly, probably your reader won't either. Maybe you could tell a story here to illustrate a point. But the result of all this is that the first iteration that the, the writer thinks is the first draft usually ends up a lot shorter than what they had intended. And this is when they, many of them go into a blue funk and they say to me, but Helen, it's only going to be a hundred pages. And my next job is to talk them off the ledge. You see, when you reach this point, when you have put the, the end on the first iteration of your manuscript, you must now go right back to the beginning and do some serious self-editing. Now, if you're working with a coach, your coach will help you with this process. Although I like to help my clients also at each step along the way with this so that this part of the process is less onerous, but it still has to be done. So you have to look for places where maybe it's clear to you, but it might not necessarily be clear to your reader who's not familiar with the material. Look for places where a story might be a good place to illustrate a point. Later on in another episode, I'll be talking about how to use story effectively, even in nonfiction. But look for places where you can use this as a way of expanding the material and making it a better reading experience for your reader. If you are working with a traditional publisher, then that first draft, that first iteration is definitely not what you send to them ready to be edited. Because if you do, they will send it back to you with a very terse note saying, please send this again when it's ready. The point I want to make to you today, though, is that you shouldn't expect the first iteration of your manuscript to be a polished first draft. Just accept it, embrace it as part of the process, and then use the process to go back and improve your manuscript to the point where it is a polished first draft, ready to go for editing. Nobody said this would be easy, or if they did, they lied. <laughs>